Welcome back to the WCG for the afternoon session on day two of the first statewide traffic management test match. Rabi's 11 were in trouble at 3 for 11, but had been saved somewhat by Michael Johnson, who is 30 not out, stepping up for his side after a lean trot with the bat. The session got off to a dream start for Brennan's 11, removing Rabi's 11 skipper in the second over. George Paneros perishing not long after as they slumped to two for six. And when Nathan Hancock was clean bowled by Brendan Scott, it was three for 11 and the situation was looking dire. But that brought Michael Johnson to the crease, who looked in fine touch from ball one, hammering Brendan's 11's bowlers to all parts of the arena as he stabilized the ship and sent them into the lunch break with renewed optimism and confidence. Johnson 30 not out, Rabi's 11 will resume, 3 for 41, still trailing Brennan's 11 by 70 runs, but if Johnson can maintain the form he showed in the opening session, that deficit will erode quickly. Now it's Alex step in to bowl the first ball of the afternoon session, in now to Michael Johnson, it's a full ball outside the off stump, Johnson leaves. Can this be Johnson's breakthrough series with the bat? Makes regular runs with the white ball, but has yet to transfer that in any significant form with the red one. As Stepien bowls again to Johnson, who plays that on the offside, will sneak through for a single, as he did regularly through the opening session. This is good cricket from Johnson, ticking the scoreboard over. Stepien to continue to Johnson. In now, it's a full delivery. It's a good delivery from Stepien. And Johnson leaves well outside the off stump. Hey, this is good from Johnson. It's also good from Stepien. It's been a good start to the session. Stepien bowls now and he bowls a high looping delivery. Although that's looped well over Johnson's head, you generally get a warning here at the WCG for over the head. That will not be called a wide. So the final delivery of Alex Stepien's over after lunch. And now to Johnson who drives on the front foot towards Matt White at that cover region who fields well. He had a couple of hairy moments before the lunch break in that region, but this time he's down and saves a boundary. Samir Basha who will bowl to Michael Johnson now. Barbie's 11, three for 42. And now it's played on the offside towards Brendan Scott, who fields in that mid-off region. Samir Basha looking for his second wicket of the innings after dismissing his brother. As he comes in now to Johnson, it's a full delivery and it's been driven down the ground. And this time Scott doesn't field so well. It's a great shot from Johnson, but Scott should be stopping that. Three for 46. Middle Basher to continue to Johnson again. And now it's a shorter delivery towards Johnson's hips. He plays that to Alex Stepin on the leg side for no run. Yeah, this is a good start to the session again from Johnson. Looking solid as he edges his side closer to Brennan's 11's first innings total of 111. As he faces El Basher again and he just nudges that on the offside once again and sneaks through for another single. Very, very smart batting here from Johnson. Very mature batting. He's got his side out of a big hole here. Just sense a change of atmosphere around the WCG at the moment. Rabi's 11 are on top. So middle Basher bowls again to Johnson as he leaves outside the off stump. Brennan's 11 have bowled in good areas after the lunch break. Johnson happy to let anything go outside the off stump. Here's the middle bash will bowl to him again now. And now it's a full delivery and there's a massive appeal. Brennan's 11 all up in unison. Here's it's a plain miss from Johnson, says the umpire. And no sound as it passes the bat. Good decision. 3 for 47 as Matt White will now steam into Michael Johnson. In now it's a quick delivery and Johnson is forward. Fielded by Hamid Basher on the offside, who throws at the stumps. Yeah, this is good cricket here to start the middle session. White in again to Johnson. He's been hit in the thigh. He's claiming that he has been hit in the thigh. So there was a stifled appeal from Brennan's 11. I thought that might have been caught behind. White cranking it up here after lunch. In now again to Johnson as he's been hit. That pops up off his back on the leg side. 
Yeah, Johnson's been struck here. This is good stuff here from White. Hostile stuff to start the middle session. Johnson looks unfazed as Brennan's Levin's close in fieldsman let him know where he is. He's in a battle here against White. It's White in again to Johnson as he's forward and drives towards the middle basher. It feels well on the offside. Brilliant test cricket here at the WCG. White steaming in and Johnson holding firm so far. It's White in again to Johnson and he's been hit again. And the crowd are loving this. This is what they pay their money to see. It's another rip snorter from White and Johnson cops it. So the last delivery of what's been one of the quickest overs we've seen at the WCG. As Scott brings men in around the bat. They're looking for something to pop up. Or this could be a double bluff. Here is White. Charges into Johnson for the final ball of the over. It's another quick delivery. And Johnson sways out of the way. Brilliant stuff. Three for 47 as bowling will now bowl to Johnson. In now around the wicket. And Johnson just plays that on the onside towards young Daniel Hancock. Yeah, that was a brilliant last over and Johnson negotiated that well. Here as he faces bowling again. It's a full delivery and that's a brilliant shot. He pierces the field on the onside. He gets it past White of all people. Johnson moves along to 40. Ravi's 11, 3 for 51. It's now Scott's turn to try and crack this Johnson code. In now to Johnson. It's an in-swinging delivery. And Johnson deals with it well. Johnson 40 not out. His previous best in a test match at the WCG was 18. Eyeing off his first half century. As Scott bowls again. He's been clipped on the onside for four. Johnson shows no signs of slowing up here. He's been given his leg by as oh, it is. Unfortunately, it's hit him on the leg, but it's still gone for four. Rabi's 11, three for 55 and moving along nicely. As Scott bowls to Johnson now. Oh, and is that the breakthrough? It is. It's an inside edge from Johnson, and he's been caught behind as Scott gets the breakthrough for his side. A brilliant innings comes to an end. Johnson dismissed for 40. Massive breakthrough there for Brennan's 11. So that brings Todd Lavin to the crease for his first hit at the WCG in over a year. Not known for his run scoring ability. Brennan's 11 will sense a big opportunity here to go bang bang. So it's Scott into Lavin. Who's across and defends his stumps well. Yeah, there was a brief appeal for LBW from Brennan's 11. As Scott asks a question of the umpire. I yeah, feel Todd might not have played a shot there. The decision's been given not out. So two deliveries left in Scott's second over. Ravi's 11, 4 for 55. Scott in now to Todd Lavin who hasn't played a stroke this time. And there's no appeal from Scott. So he must think this isn't coming back far enough. Oh, just. Lavin playing a dangerous game if he wants to continue leaving the ball out there. As Scott bowls to him now, and he's bowled in this time. They have gone bang, bang. And Rabi's 11 slumped to 5 for 55 after the lunch break. It's another in-swinging delivery through Todd's legs. And Scott's now got three. Rabi's 11, 5 for 55 as Rob Leonard comes to the crease. Formerly of Brennan's 11 last year, but has made the jump over. Only played the opening test match. So this is his first stick in exactly a year. He won't have to deal with Scott, who has finished his over. So we mark Passerfield now to bowl to Rob Leonard. It's a full delivery outside the off stump. Leonard leaves. Mark Passerfield continues to Rob Leonard. In now to full toss and has played on the leg side towards Brennan Scott, who fields in that mid on region. Pendulum has swung here as it's now Brandon's 11 with their tails up. As Pastor Field will continue to Leonard again. In now to short delivery and it's been played on the offside and it's been brilliantly fielded by Hamidul Basha at that point region. Here they keep Leonard on that duck egg for another delivery at least. Here is Pastor Field bowls again to Leonard who plays that on the leg side off the fence and will get through for a single and he is off the mark. Leonard at the crease with Schaefer and McGregor left in the sheds. Robbie's 11, 5 for 56 in their first inning. Still trailing Brennan's 11 by 55 runs. So there's a bit of work to do yet. 
As Passerfield will bowl again to Leonard, who plays that brilliantly on the offside for six. It wasn't that short, to be fair, but Leonard rocks back and crunches that through the offside. Six runs. Five for 63 as Gavin Merrifield will now bowl to Leonard. It's a full delivery driven towards the middle basher on the offside, who once again fields well. It's been brilliant in that region today. Keeping the pressure on Leonard. As Merrifield continues to Leonard. It's a shorter delivery, and again, Leonard has rocked back and cut this on the offside for six. For another little counter attack, this time from Rob Leonard. Leonard 13. Rubbies 11, 5 for 69 as Merrifield continues. It's a full delivery and it's left outside the off stump from Leonard. They've closed the gap on Brennan's 11. Trailing by 42 runs now. As Merrifield will continue again to Leonard. It's a full delivery and this one is out over the fence. It's a brilliant change of pace from Merrifield who just rolled the fingers over it. And Rob Leonard has succumbed over the fence. Rubbies 11, 6 for 69. So it's Ryan Schaefer on debut who strides to the wicket now. This side still trailing Brennan's 11 by 42 runs. Bowled well in their innings. What has he got with the stick? So Merrifield with his tail up to bowl to Schaefer now. In now to brilliant delivery and that must have narrowly missed the edge. That's not a bad one to get first up. That's a great delivery from Merrifield. Well bowled. Last delivery of Merrifield's over. Scott brings the fielders around the bat. Shorter delivery and it hits Schaefer. Just drops at his feet. And the batsmen have been able to play their strokes. Thread it through with great skill by Virat Kohli. Schaefer off the mark at the WCG in impressive fashion. So middle basher bowls again to Schaefer now and it's short. It's played to Scott on the offside for no run. Just Schaefer and McGregor left for Rabi's 11 as we approach T on day two. Here's a middle basher will bowl again to Schaefer. In now to full delivery down the leg side. Schaefer watches it go past him. Rabi's 11 had big wraps on Ryan Schaefer. He was a good all round sportsman. Pretty handy with the ball. What can he do with the bat? Middle batch of bowls against a short delivery and it's been punished by Ryan Schaefer. Well, that's what he can do with the bat. That's been hammered through mid wicket for six. Short and dispatched. It's an impressive start from Schaefer. Scott will bowl to him now. It's a fall in swing and delivery and Schaefer just about keeps that out. Oh, that was moving back sharply into Schaefer. Trademark Scott in swinger. Schaefer's good enough to keep it out. Rabi's 11, 6 for 80 as we approach the tea break. Here's Scott bowls to Schaefer against another full delivery. Pops up on the offside. And it's a massive dive from Stepien. There didn't seem to be too much excitement from the rest of the fielders. So that would suggest it didn't hit the bat. As Scott continues again to Schaefer. And this time the ball is swinging away from him. And wants nothing to do with that one. A pretty important stage of the test match as we approach the tea break. Brennan's 11 leading by 31 runs as Scott bowls to Schaefer, who gets a thick inside edge onto the fence and can't get through for a single. And of course, if they remove Schaefer, they might be able to take the extra half an hour with Pat McGregor being the last man in. Still remains to be seen as Scott bowls to Schaefer now and he gets another thick inside edge onto the fence and this time he'll get through for a single. Yeah, oh, it's been given leg by, so it looks like it's just come off the leg. So this will be the last ball of the session. Schaefer on 10, not out. And Scott will come into him now. It's a full delivery and it's an outswing and delivery left alone. And that ends another absorbing session of cricket. Rabi's 11 losing a clump of wickets through that middle session. As they made their way to 6 for 81 at the tee break with Ryan Schaefer at the crease, 10 not out. Still trailing Brennan's 11 by 30 runs with two wickets remaining. It sets up a brilliant final session on day two as the test match hangs in the balance.